South Korea's youth have two options, join the army or go to prison. It is among a handful of countries that has a policy of forced military service, South Korea. But recently, the laws have been relaxed. People who refuse to serve the military now have the option of public service. But guess where they're being deployed for this work? To jail. In South Korea, the choice was always clear. Serve in the military or be branded a criminal. South Korea has a policy of compulsory military service. Failing to serve means going to prison. 20,000 people have been imprisoned over this rule. Some of them subjected to brutal treatment. But not anymore. South Korea has announced a major change in its military draft policy. Alternative service that can be performed instead of military duty, people who refuse to serve will still be in prison, but as workers, not inmates. They will cook for the prisoners, clean the prison walls, and serve as assistants to the prison doctor. But more importantly, they will remain free men, with no criminal records. Right now, prison work is the only option. But gradually, more forms of public service are expected to be added. Like working in nursing homes or as firefighters. Military service is sacred in South Korea. All able-bodied men are required to serve for at least 21 months. It's considered the best way to counter its rival, North Korea. But since 1949, at least 400,000 people have refused to serve. A majority of them are Jehovah's Witnesses, a Christian group that does not believe in war and violence. While this is a historic moment in South Korea, the battle is only half won. Three years of prison service is still a lot, especially in a country that prides itself as a liberal democracy. But South Korean politicians have an excuse. They say if the alternative is too easy, the youth will evade the draft in large numbers. The fact is, South Korea does need a large standing army. The threat from North Korea is ever present. Pyongyang claims to have more than a million soldiers in its ranks. South Korea is struggling to keep up. Especially with birth rates plummeting in the last few decades. Draft dodgers in South Korea often become easy targets, like pop star Yu Sung Jun. He was accused of dodging military service in 2002 by becoming a US citizen. The price he had to pay was his career. South Korea is not alone in mandatory military service. In Israel, the men must serve at least three years in the army. And women, two years. In Syria, military service is a must for all men. Government workers who evade it end up losing their job. There are also reports of rigorous jail terms. Even Switzerland has similar rules. The Swiss endorsed compulsory military service thrice in three separate referendums, but people do have the option of civilian service. Viewer report, we on. World is one. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. We on. World is one.